Welcome back to Crystal Clear. I have a personal question for you. Do you ever feel just, well, a little bitchy? I certainly do. And our next guest says, good. It is not your moods that are the problem. It is the expectation that we shouldn't be having them. I recently sat down with the author of a new book that has a whole lot of folks talking. It is called Moody Bitches, the truth about the drugs you're taking, the sleep you're missing, the sex you are not having, and what's really making you crazy. And Dr. Julie Holland knows she spent years working in the psychiatric ER at Bellevue Hospital and in her new book explains why it's time to ditch Xanax and listen to what your body is telling you. So I began by asking Dr. Holland the basic question, what's with all the bitchiness? So why are so many women feeling like moody bitches? Well, um, I think that, you know, we're trying to do an awful lot. You know, we're working and we're taking care of sick parents or sort of trying teenagers. We're spreading ourselves pretty thin. Um, and when you're stressed out and when you're not sleeping well and you're not eating well, um, you know, something's got to give and you're going to get kind of irritable uh, or reactive. Um, and it's really, you know, sort of a normal response to an unnatural set of stressors, which is how we're living our lives. And you also sort of argue in this book that we should embrace our inner moody bitch and recognize that being emotional and having different emotions at different times of the month and different times in your life is completely natural. Right. It's completely natural. It's normal. There's a difference between being moody or, you know, being emotional versus having a mood disorder. Um, and part of the problem right now is that Big Pharma is sort of going after women and, and targeting them, and a lot of people feel vulnerable about expressing emotion. You know, we're sort of taught to shut it down. I mean, men are taught more, but women are also taught, you know, it's not appropriate to cry in certain situations. So I think that there's sort of vulnerability that's getting targeted, and what's happening is that more and more women are going on psychiatric medicines, antidepressants, anti-anxiety meds, sleeping pills, when uh, for many of them there really are sort of healthier, um, easier lifestyle changes that would be just as effective. Okay, so talk to us about a few of those because women I think are feeling frequently overwhelmed, they're feeling depressed, they're feeling lonely, they feel like they have low libido. Right. So let's tackle, let's start with the low libido, okay? <laughs> okay. Because that's right. an exciting place to start. Um, where is that coming from? What is impacting women throughout their lives that's making them feel like they have little or no interest in sex? And then how do they deal with overcoming that? Well, first of all, if you are on antidepressants, that can often be a reason why you have low libido. If you are on birth control pills, kind of the dirty little secret of the pill is that the longer you're on it, the lower your testosterone levels mm. are, and you're going to be less and less horny if you take it for years and years. And you um, call it testosterone, you say it, it makes you more into novelty, which is part of wanting sex, part of wanting to experiment, those sorts of things. Right. I mean, I call, yeah, I call testosterone sort of the hormone of novelty. Um, you know, uh, women at different times in their cycles, if you're not on the pill, are going to have more or less testosterone. And, you know, conveniently, uh, when you're fertile mid-cycle is when your testosterone levels are at their highest. How about when you have young children? What does so, that do to your sex drive? A few things. Um, first of all, if you're nursing or if you're just having a lot of body contact with your kids, your oxytocin levels are going to be higher, which is going to actually decrease your testosterone. They're, they're somewhat inversely related. Um, so, you know, hugging your kids and spending a lot of time being a mom, you are going to be less interested in sex. I mean, certainly when you're nursing, it makes sense biologically. You don't want to have a raging libido when you've got a baby to take care of. So, you know, nature, <laughs> nature sort of helps to make sure um, that everything goes as it should. And then what happens is if you're taking oral contraceptives or if you're on antidepressants, you know, you're doing something that's basically unnatural for your body chemistry and there are going to be significant changes in how you feel because of it. So these